Yo, 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 it's your man. Let's cut off fires onto it. Debo, I told you I was coming after all you nut ass niggas. I told you I was, yeah, a little different today. I told you I was coming after all you nut ass niggas. I told you. Yeah, I apologize to Chris, and I'm not feeling that. That's just how I feel. That's it. And I'm going to speak up on it. Since y'all don't want to speak, I'm going to speak. I thought somebody was going to check Chris. I'm looking around. Ain't nobody checking this nigga. Trap ain't do it. D-Boy ain't do it. I'm, I'm looking around. Cole ain't do it. So I'm going to do it. You had the nerve to put on a live and then take the live down. Because you ain't feel like they was adhering to you. So you had the nerve, the audacity to come at Battle Truth, try to talk that real stuff to aid that. But then a pedal come on, say a cool couple of words that shook you and you ran for cover. See, when I met you, Debo, this nigga is bugging the F out. When I met you, Debo, I met you in the Bronx. You was across the street from my hood, Patterson Project. And I respected you because of the respect that you have for me. Whether it was true or not. Now, Debo won't say, oh, this man wanted to come on my show. I ain't have time for him. That's why he mad. Ain't wrong. You the one that invited me up to the show because the stuff I was spitting to you, you wanted it on your show. That's first and foremost. So don't say this is no sucker stuff. The reason why I'm coming at you is because I'm stand up. And you like me because I'm a stand up dude. And me being stand up, I gotta check all you niggas that's not stand up. I text you and told you you're not a stand up dude, period. You talking about don't, what's the name? Shut the fuck up. I do what the fuck I want. My name is Champagne from a fan's point of view. Ain't no nigga in the world gonna tell me who and what to say out my mouth. Who the hell you thought you was talking to? You all right? Right. You were right where I live at. Right. So you know I, I ain't scared of nothing. So let that be known. You ain't my big homie. You remember that. Now, there's a pedal going around. Tell me, is this true, my friend? Somebody put a live up and deleted it. Tell me, was it you, my friend? I never seen the hypocrisy in battle rap ever. Y'all was all talking about Chris because you thought he was canceled. You thought he was just going to shut up like Tech 9 right? You thought you was going to say what you want, and he was going to just delete his page and be scared and run on the rocks. But let me tell you something. Everybody not the same. This motherfucker decided to strike back. I'm not mad at him coming at y'all because he's supposed to use every angle he got against y'all. I mean, he's getting charged with pedophile, sodomy, all type of crazy shit that could send him in jail for life. So why would he not say anything he want? Why won't he? So if you know that he was going to say the worst things that he could say about you or whatever he know about you, you know that. You know that. I'm mad that you taking a back seat to Chris. Nigga, you ain't do that to ADEP. You try to check ADEP and got on Angry Fan show because he was interviewing him. And then you try to challenge Angry Fan, yo, you want me here or him here? And you left. Like you got some motherfucking balls to be doing that to anybody. That's what. We picking and choosing now. Big homie. I never saw a big homie pick and choose their enemy. As, as matter of fact, the big homie go against the big homie because the small soldiers, he got people to deal with them. So I never saw a big homie pick and choose their battles. When you don't like battle truth. That's what you said. So if you don't like battle truth, right? You very vocal about him liking kids and him liking, you was very vocal. All y'all niggas was. So, what's going on with Chris? See, that's what separates me and you, Debo. You did a lot for the culture, bringing women and battle rap and putting them 
on an optimum level. I will never take that from you. I don't care what female say something, I will give all respect to Debo, Vet, Vague, and Babs for bringing Queen of the Ring to Chrome 23. There's no way, there's no way else to thank y'all, but Remy Ma has evolved. The industry has evolved with women. With that being said, how dare you take a backseat to a pedophile? You look like a weak bitch. How dare you? How dare you have all that to say and then put your life down because you scared of the retaliation? How dare you? You a grown ass man. You older than Chris. You should be checking him because real men don't get accused of sodomy. Facts. See, the difference between me and you is I say what I want. I stand on it. No matter what the comments think. You too busy in the comment section looking, seeing what they saying. And if 19... Um, comments are saying the same thing you want to backtrack that means that your statement ain't real from the start if you was going to say sorry why say it in the first place i don't feel like saying sorry that's why i say what i want and i keep it up there i don't feel like saying sorry so i do my homework first you should have did your research for as media and if you're too busy running a league why the fuck are you in media Bring me to another question. You got a lot of skeletons in your closet, nigga. So why the fuck are you in media? Where a nigga could air out your dirty laundry. Huh? And my thing is, you one of the biggest platform owners, which is the girls. Why do you give a fuck what Chris say? Who is Chris to your a million dollar company? Who is Chris? Who the fuck is Chris? That really makes me like skeptical about you niggas. You Cola, Anwar, none of y'all checked them. Anwar ain't do it. Debo ain't do it. Trap ain't do it. Cola ain't do it. None of y'all niggas said sorry. My bad. So watch this, Debo. If you find out he is a pedophile, are you back on big homie Debo? See, that's what makes you a hypocrite. Because you following. I thought you was the trendsetter. These people are calling you smack backup muscle. Beasley backup muscle. That's what they saying. You Beasley backup muscle. And you going for that? Debo? The Debo I know from fr Friday was knocking out everybody. This Debo is. I mean, I'm. I'm If you scared of Chris, you scared of life. Chris is a low tier pedophile blogger. That's it. He ain't nothing bigger than that. What are you scared of? Because he could take apart and pick apart um, skits and put them together and come against you. Because he could talk about your league because of a bunch of gossiping women telling him stuff behind his back. That That's what you scared of? Well, then you're going to be scared forever. Let me tell you something. There's always dirt on somebody. Somebody always going to know something that you don't want them to know. Your skeletons is never in your closet. They can't be buried because God going to show all of them. That's called life. That's called life. That's called life, Debo. In case you ain't know. Let me give you a taste of your own medicine. I remember you. You the one that made, asked me to um, take down a video when Shooty slapped you. And I did it. Not because of you. Because you said you had kids. And I was cool with Battle Truth at the time. Those are facts. I did it for you. So I backtracked, which I felt like I should have never did. But I did it for you. I did that. That was me having that integrity. So where's your integrity at when a person, that case is still open, being charged with pedo pedophilia? You run and duck and cover from you took more shit than that with women. You had to, you had to damn near manage a hundred females. You got one little old blogger saying a bunch of things that little hit your skin, and you running for cover. What type of Debo is that? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. If Chris could do this to you. Imagine what life could. 
you remember one thing in life. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Don't comment.